Good morning, everybody. Um, here we are again, um, talking my way through my daily experience of the light. And today is uh, June the 22nd, so just a day after midsummer. And it actually is a little bit midsummery. Uh, so when I first got up, I looked out the window and I just thought, wow, uh, it really does look good to me. So bearing in mind, the colours don't always look good to me, but I'm not colour blind. Um, so the blue looks as if it has the right amount of red in it and the right amount of green in it and there's nothing too... Uh, too drastic with the appearance of the blue and the green has about the right amount of red in it, the right amount of yellow in it. Now this is just something that my brain tells me, you know, because obviously when I look out the window, what I see could be completely different to what you see. And your idea of what is a great red to look at or what is a great yellow to look at uh, could be and probably is completely different to mine. So all I'm really going by is the fact that my brain tells me, wow, the green looks normal to me, the blue looks normal to me. And uh, then I have this feeling of something being right, and I also feel drawn outside. So I went outside today, and again, going out, I just feel like, the green is correct to my brain. Hard to explain really, because sometimes when the light is dimmer in spring or autumn, I don't even want to walk on the grass because the green feels like it has too much red in it or it has too much blue in it. And it just looks completely wrong to me. So, so going outside, the first thing I notice is the green is so inviting, it's so nice to go down the garden. So sometimes I sort of get to the, we've got an arch just before I get to the garden, I get to the arch and I look through and I just think, uh, and you know, I, I, just, I just completely hesitate uh, because it doesn't invite me down there, you know, but today it was inviting me down there. I really wanted to go down the garden, go down to the pond, uh, see the um, the buttercups, the yellow buttercups growing, and the, uh, the the purple of the iris, and the different colours around me. Everything seemed to be fairly balanced. There wasn't any colours jumping out at me, and there wasn't any colours that looked really drab. Uh, sometimes I think I was born in the wrong country because actually when I watch things on television and they're in different countries like say India. I know India is a big country so I can't say exactly where it was but somewhere in India and um, the colours were just amazing and people wear all these different colours you know their, their kaftans or whatever they they call them saris and you know there's so many bright colours and their whole life is full of colour um, the you know market stalls are just full of colour and but but because of the light when I'm watching a program like that I just see everything just looking amazing and looking right to my brain so it's it's all a bit strange okay that colours sometimes look completely wrong to my brain um, now, when I was a child, I used to go out on a day like today, and I used to think, wow, <laughs> I used to think, gosh, it's like the garden fairy being in the night and sort of painted everything the correct colour, you know, because it looks, it looks almost like it's not real. It's so amazing. It, it just because it, it only happens for a few days of the year and the rest of the days of the year the colours are all just changing around with the light and so I think as a child 
I used to feel insecure on a day like today because I'd feel like something, something bad is going to happen. Something, something's going to go wrong because life just seems too perfect. And it was funny, but it set up this fear. And I still have a sort of residual fear now, but I've, I've managed to sort of work with it so much that I can just tell myself it's fine. It's just that the colours are right. That doesn't mean to say anything different, anything bad's going to happen. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just incredible. I used to be anxious on these beautiful sunny days. Um, and I, I didn't know why. And, uh, you know, now I do. So what I'm doing with making these videos is I'm trying to help people who might have an experience like mine, uh, or who might have children who have an experience like mine. You know, I met somebody the other day who had a daughter who was autistic and her mum said that she often would say first thing in the morning, I, I, don't, I really don't want to go out today. So they plan something to do outside and she said, I just don't want to go out today. I just don't like the feel of it. Now, possibly um, people are picking up the light much more than they realise they are. And so sometimes it's a case of uh, the light seeming wrong and the colours seeming wrong and that's what makes people not go out. Or something that probably people never thought about is that the colours could suddenly seem right and it makes people not want to go out. You know, you're suddenly, you know, family plan a trip to the seaside and you think, but it's so strange out there, you know. Everything seems so perfect, it's so strange. I don't know if I'm going to be safe at the seaside. So it can be either of those two things. It might seem wrong, it might seem right. Whatever it is, at the end of the day, it's about that feeling of change all the time. And change makes us anxious. And change makes us feel insecure. And when we know what's changing and we get an understanding of it, then we can become comfortable with change, which is basically where I have got to. I am comfortable with change. Not every change in my life, but I am comfortable with the change of the light and how it affects me. And I'm enjoying today. I'm enjoying looking out and seeing it looking kind of almost perfect. Tomorrow it could be a whole new story and I'm up for it. I'll look out and I'll just see what's going on. I think, it, I think it's going to be cloudy, so I think it's going to be different. Um, so these are just things that I put out there for people to think about. And, um, you know, I'm, you know, thinking that I might be the only person in the whole entire world with this. I don't think it's likely. I think that there's more people out there with colour sensitivity. You may not realise you have it until you start to listen to what I'm saying, until you start to think about your experiences in life. Because I didn't realise I had it until just a couple of years ago. So I lived a long time not knowing that I had colour and light sensitivity. So I hope you found this helpful. Please leave me a comment. Okay, see you next time. Bye.